Hey, I'm here at TechCrunch headquarters with Nam Do, who is the founder and CEO of C-Space, a company that's making the first augmented television app, something called In Air. Let's get right into it here, the visual thing. What is this experience like? Sure. It's, um, uh, for us, it's all about the space in front of the television. So we uh, make the internet leap in front of television. We monitor what you watch on TV and bring in information that relevant to the show. So in this example, we are watching um, the Voyager. So you can see that I bring in the menu and we know that exactly you're watching the Voyager show. So we can go to places like NASA when they have a lot of information about the Voyager, things like this when you can actually control and have a look at um, a different part of, um, of the, um, you know, the Voyager. You can all also look at um, things like the path of the Voyager and um, different planet, even the photo that the Voyager took. Another example here is a Formula One race. So again, we know exactly which race you're watching, so we'll be able to bring in information that's relevant, that help enhance the television show that you, um, you are watching. So on the left-hand side, you can see the track, with the position of all the car, the right hand side is um, the t live timing of all the racer. You can choose, a, um, you know, select the different camera angle of your choice. You can even look at start from different racers and you know this um, and link to information about different team and uh, and things like that. In a movie situation, um, a lot of the time you hear you know really nice soundtrack and you don't know what it is. Uh, what we do, it we be able to sample the soundtrack and. Um, and give it to you like um, here it's a song by um, Adele, it's Skyfall by Adele and um, you can look at um, the artist, you can even you know, want to sing along or you can download the song right here. Well in many ways this is kind of like that second screen experience that everybody talks about but right now people typically do it with the laptop in their lap and you're bringing it right here. Absolutely because um, one of the, the thing with second screen experience is that you know you, you're watching TV like this right so you kind of you know like a, a have to divide between the two screen and um, research show that you lose actually the main screen lose about 25 percent of the eyeballs and um, and doesn't make anybody happy because you know like uh, from the from, from the user point of view actually looking up and down all the time right and uh, from a TV network point of view you actually don't have a really good experience on on the main screen so by doing Doing that and um, uh, to put everything on one screen is actually augmented the, the experience and you on, only have it when you want it. And can you tell me how you're controlling this as well? What, what is that? Yes, yeah, so it's a controller. Is, um, uh, we, we planning to support a lot of different controllers like the Leap Motion, the Kinect where you can do gesture control. Um, we actually have um, an app. Now, the reason we do it, if you notice, there's no graphic on it because um, we don't want people to actually have to find a button. So it's a, it's a gesture control. It's a trackpad, so um, you can just double tap on it to bring on um, um, our interface and then swipe up and down. Right, and when you select something, you can you know, just you know swipe it to the right. How does this work? How do you know what I'm watching, and how do you know what to pull up that's relevant? Right, so it's all done through this device. Right, so basically you have a HDMI um, in on one end, so you plug um, HDMI from your cable box into here, and this one plug into your computer uh, in your screen. It's very simple, very easy. So because we have the stream of content going through this box, we would monitor exactly what you're watching and do automatic content recognition to un understand up to the up to the second what you're watching. Okay, and how much do you expect this will cost once it goes on sale? Um, um, we actually planning to retail it for ninety nine dollars.